Hello, everybody. So as promised, we have some new stamps released from Kitchen Sink Stamps. This is the July 2019 release. If any of you were lucky enough to go to Junkie Fest, I am extremely jealous. But I believe that these were revealed at Junkie Fest. So um, now I can show them to you guys here. I have not played with them yet. Um, but uh, I thought today would be a good day to start. So the first set I'm going to show you is the Multi-Step Seaside Seagull set. And this has, again, the new layering guide, which is so cool. Um, but you can see here what it comes with is the, what do you call that? Um... We have the seagull, of course, you have some grasses, you have some tiny little birds here that'll fly off in the background, which I can never get enough of. I think those are great. Um, is this called like a pylon? I forget what it's called. Um, but uh, so it looks like that's going to be your first layer and then the birds. So it looks like a pretty simple set. So let's move this off to the side. I do have some Nina Solar White cut down to... Uh, what did I cut down here? All right, I cut down two to five and a quarter by four, which are the larger sheets. And then I have two cut down to five by three and three quarters. So I think we can get by with a five and three and three quarters. I'm using my mini Misty. You can see the black foam is down. This is just a piece of the grid paper that I had laminated. And then on top of that is where I will be able to um, stick down my paper because I have some of that Sizzix sticky uh, paper on there and then I'm just going to use the magnet to hold that down but not necessarily on my paper. My paper is crooked. Okay so I guess we will start with the pylons. I am going to start with Layer number one, which is the most solid layer. I like too that this design sheet is all colored too, so you can have an idea of what they suggest for colors. And I love these stamps because I really think that they round out. If you have, um, if you're looking for masculine sets, um, Kitchen Sink Stamps has some of my favorite masculine sets. So um, this really goes well with some of their other stamp sets that they have. Now because these are brand new, even though they are photopolymer, I am going to condition my stamps with some Versamark first, which just means I'm going to stamp it in Versamark first. I'm going to leave that out and then I'm going to um, use a colored ink just to go over it. And that will help condition the stamp because it's new to accept the ink. And because these are so new, it's lifting the paper. So I may have to move the magnet over here. There we go. Oh my God, you scared me. I'm filming. Okay, <laughs> now that everybody got to see Xavier sneak up behind me out of nowhere. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out. All right, I'm going to use my mini um, Altenew inks again. So I just pulled the mink, uh, the ink up. So I have this color set here, which is Sand Dunes, Rocky Shore, Mocha, Espresso. I think those are what I'm going to use today. And now you guys know that I do not definitely edit my videos. All right, so I'm going down with the lightest color of brown, which is the Sand Dunes. Do two layers of that. So what's cool about this time of year is that my neighbors love to do fireworks and previously I would like have to drive to 
someplace, you know, and you have to go hours in advance and park and, you know, keep the kids quiet and entertain until the fireworks started. And then half the time the kids will be scared anyway. But where I've moved, um, I've been in this house for five years now and this neighborhood is wonderful. And my neighbors have like a fireworks contest. So they will like for the next four days be doing fireworks. And all I have to do is just sit on my deck and watch them, which is kind of cool. Um, and just enjoy. And when Leah was smaller, you know, she would get a little discouraged and be scared by it. But now she's like, ooh, those are cool. All right, super easy to line this up for layer number two. I'm going to go in with the next darkest brown, which is Rocky Shore. Again, I'm going to stamp the Versa mark first just to condition it. Actually, do that real quick. pretty cool. I'm going to go in with another layer again because these are new. They are a little splotchy but these inks will dry back and it will smooth itself out so you'll see it'll look much better. All right already that's looking pretty cool. I am following them in the in the order that they um, are in one two three four. Sometimes I change up the order, uh, but I am going one two three four. And this is pretty easy to line up. So far, all of the outer layers are lining up very easily, all the way around. Um, I'm looking at the top and the bottom mostly, but they are lining up pretty nicely here. Okay, so for color number three, we're going to go in with mocha. Versa mark first. And now the mocha. I could go for a mocha right now. Like a mocha latte. Leah, can you make me a mocha latte? <laughs> she just gave me this look like, Mom, are you crazy? <laughs> What, you can't make me a mocha latte? Where's your little coffee kitchen at? I want a mocha latte. <laughs> in the oh, you're retired? Okay. No mocha lattes tonight. Look how cool. I mean, the little dimension I, that you guys can see on screen is just magnified in person. I mean, let me show you. We're only three layers. We have one more to go. But look at that dimension and detail. That's why I love this stamp company. It literally looks like a pylon with ropes tied around it. Love it. Love kitchen sink stamps. And if you've never discovered them, this is a great starter set. I mean, you get the pylons, you get the birds, you get the grasses. You could easily make this into a masculine card, a nautical card. Um, you know, if you have anybody that's into fishing or the seashore, anything like that. Okay, for this layer, which is the final layer, I am lining up the details in the ropes. And they're some highlight areas here which are also highlighted here so we are just matching all of those up so we're matching up the ropes our little highlighted areas that we do not they want to stay crisp and clean and that's how you line those up so for the final layer again a little bit of versamark and you only do the versamark when they're brand new and that's just to condition them And the last color I'm using is Espresso, which is the darkest. Oh my gosh, 
Look how cool this is. I mean, it's like, it's like 3D, right? There's, I stamped that. I can't, I'm so proud of myself. I'm going to do one more layer with the espresso. And these Alta New inks are great for layering if you're looking for, they're inexpensive. I think you can get four in a pack for, I don't know, eight or nine bucks. I don't exactly have any in front of me to tell you, maybe $10, but you get four mini cubes, you know, and they all coordinate and match. So when you're doing layering stamping, these are really handy. And then you can decide, okay, do I want to invest in the full size inks? You know, once you realize you're using them, but I, you guys have seen me go through all these minis and I have not, um, had to refill them yet. I haven't bought any full size. I think I have two full size, maybe a couple full size, but, um, not a whole bunch. Okay. So now we have, um, the little sea grasses, but I think I want to perch the bird up. So let's see here. How many layers do we have for our little bird guy? It looks like one two, three, four. Okay. So number one, he's so cute. We're just going to perch him right here. Hold on. Let me see, make sure I can see. Okay. Same thing. I have some Alta new gray inks we'll use. I'm going to start with the lightest. I'm going to Versa mark him too, just because that's the most solid layer. Okay, and the lightest one is called Morning Frost. And this is like a nice warm gray set. Perfect. Speaking of birds, you can hear the parrots banging on their cage. You can put those back if you're done. Leah was using the Arteza color pencils to color. Okay, layer number two. Which doo, doo, doo. sorry, I have to be able to see how this goes. It says to line up the beak. Okay. All right, these are so small, I don't think I'm going to condition them. I think we'll be okay. Okay, second color would be evening gray. Okay, starting to come together and look like a bird, seagull. They're nasty little birds. They steal your sandwiches and everything right out of your hands at the beach. We didn't get to go to the beach yet this year. A bird sat your sandwich when you went to the shore. I think that was last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, number three. So for number three, we want to line up his beak and legs. If you can see the legs. Okay, here we go. A little wary of that one. Okay, let's try that one. I think we're good there. Uh, next color would be Moon Rock. Yeah, 
not too bad. He's all right. Yeah. Okay. And then I think this is it. Fourth layer on our guy. It's basically just darkening up his legs and the lower half of his body. So I got to move this closer to me so I can see. Oh, and give him an eyeball too. Okay, and for that, we're going to use lava rock. Perfect. I'm going to go back in with the black, and I'm going to do his eyes and his beak again in black, just so they stand out. All right, there we go. Look at our cute little seagull. Look at that dimension in him. Okay, we're not done yet. The stamp set also comes with a two-step grasses set. So we have these little grasses. I'm going to move my magnet up a little bit here. Now for the grasses, I think I want to bring in a little bit different tones here. I do want to use some of the browns. Uh, let me see how I can do this. mocha as the first color again the alternate one oh, I didn't condition that that'll be okay I'm actually gonna stamp again on this side of the pylon. Well, let's line up the second layer. See how we like that. Okay, and for this, you just basically just line up. You can see where it needs it. It just, it outlines everything. All right, for this one, I'm gonna go in with some soft suede from Stampin' Up, which I believe is a little darker. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, I want to add a little bit more grasses here, so I'm gonna go back in with layer one. up a little on my misty and my ranger sticky tape sat on the back there which is fine okay, put that there. and for this one I'm gonna move the grasses stamp down a little bit just to give it a little bit more of an illusion that it's down more it's not the same size and I'm gonna go in with a little bit lighter brown I'm gonna go in with the rocky shores Again, for the second layer, you can see the outline. This is pretty easy to line up. Just follow the tops of the little grasses there. And then for that one, I'm going to go in with the mocha for the second layer. So they will be slightly different color than the other grasses. And 
I would actually encourage, you know what, let's pull this off of here. Because the hard layer stamping, it's really not that hard, but the, the more detailed layer stamping is already done. So we're going to put this away. The mini Misty. And I'm going to do a little bit more with the grasses, but I'm going to stamp using a block. So I'm going to go back to layer number one. And I think I actually want to add a little bit of uh, green into this. This one, I'm going to do a uh, tangled leaf, which is a lighter green. Okay, sorry about our little bird interruption there. They wanted attention. All right, so I'm going in with tangled leaf, and again, this is layer one of the grasses, and I am going to just move the stamp down and stamp down here and also right here. And go in with the second layer and go in with a little bit darker green. This one is forest glades. Same thing, just gonna line this up. Okay. And then I have a little bit of ink left at the bottom here. I'm just going to stamp some of that off. I'm going to fill in my ground a little bit. So pretty easy to do there with that. And the stamp set is very detailed. It even comes with these tiny little birds that you can put flying off in the distance there, which I'm going to do in lava rock which is a darker gray and another little tiny bird also going to do that they will really look like they're off in the distance there we go such a cute set like i said so versatile and to top everything off, grab my little cloud stencil here. And this one is from My Favorite Things. And then I have my little brush. paper just to tap that off a little I'm just rotating the stencil, tapping off the extra ink. I just want very little ink on here. back in with the stencil and I'll go in at a little bit different angle here and add another layer. OK, 
Okay, so it's very faint, it's very light, which is what I want, but you can see there are clouds on here. And then you would just add a sentiment, mount it. This would make a great sympathy card, thinking of you card, hello card. Again, a masculine birthday card. So this is a really simple, simple set, but it packs such an impact. Um, and again, everything that I used came out of one set. So we have the pylons, we have our seagull, we have the grasses, we have the little birds, and this is all part of the Kitchen Sink Stamps new July 2019 release called Multi-Step Seaside Seagull. And I will put my affiliate link down below for you guys. There's no cost to you. It just lets them know that you guys saw my video. Um, if you guys have any questions, post them down below. As always, I love your questions and comments. I will answer um, as many as I possibly can. And if I don't know the answer, I'll find out for you. But as always, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, click the button down below and then click the bell and you will get notifications every time I post a new video. Stay on top of the videos because I'll be showing more from the July 2019 release. But once again, bye-bye guys and keep on stamping.